Hello and welcome to the Miskatonic Playhouse. I'm T.A. Newman, your host. My team and I will be bringing to life adventures using the Call of Cthulhu role-playing game, which contains mature themes, cosmic horror, character death, and loss of sanity. Our mystery can be found in the Miskatonic Repository, where people like you and me can write an adventure for others to play. We'd like to thank Sirenscape, whose tools have helped provide the background sounds that you hear. And if you'd like to become a friend of the Playhouse, then please support us on Coffee. That's ko-fi.com forward slash Miskatonic Playhouse, where you can gain access to exclusive shows and content for as little as one pound. In the last act, Sage welcomed the investigators to the retreat and gave them the rules. After lots of incense, Malcolm, another member of the retreat, took the investigators to a yurt to find their vibe. Back at the dorm room, Guy confronts a blocked up toilet while smoking a joint and holding a bottle of acid. Kenyana and Casey share and care, whilst Claudia got a private meditation session she didn't expect. And when she returns, she seems to have had her frown turned upside down. Claudia finds Kenyana's dark words and removes the negativity from the dorm room. The investigators then gathered for gratitude journaling and a sincere self-reflection. And now it's time to pull back the curtain and roll the dice. Welcome back to the Miskatonic Playhouse. Welcome to part two of Good Vibes Only. Um, we just left off with everybody writing in their gratitude journals. And we heard Guy really dig deep into his own gratitude for himself. Um, brilliant. Uh, obviously, we're having a bit of an issue because Claudia is perhaps a little happier than is ideal. Which, and Hedge... <laughs> I still can't believe I got bodied by the scenario. I brought in a character that was irate and irritated, and then I got bullied by the scenario into being happy. I'm delighted. <laughs> it is a, a, fantastic, a fantastic way of dealing with your trauma. This is a space of healing, Bridget, one that we all want to bring together. <laughs> Not Claudia, this a, Bridget. This is a space where we really want to help you work through those things. You can bring good vibes only to this experience. Can. Hashtag and I can bring good vibes like to everyone. Hashtag keep girl boss. <laughs> This is the second scenario in a row where my players have accused me of gaslighting. I don't know what it is. It must be me. You start setting stuff in the 1800s, Hedge. <laughs> <laughs> and you all finish your gratitude journaling after about 90 minutes and you look up uh, a little bit confused at how fast the time has gone because the whole room has been transformed. And where once you were in a room that was full of people writing, you now realize that a beautiful buffet has been set up. It is, of course, uh, vegan, gluten-free, uh, halal, and several other things all at the same time. But it is piled high with what looks like surprisingly wonderful food. And uh, they're just plates and plates just stocked off of uh, coleslaws and fruits and veg and beautiful baked goods of all different shapes and sizes. It really looks incredibly appetizing. And of course, the incense is burning all along the buffet. Guy, Casey, your stomachs are rumbling. Um, Kenyana, Wait, you, you brought some beans with you and they are Jeez. back in the room just in case this might happen. Yeah. Claudia, you have no issues and have already gone to get yourself a plate of food. For sure. Like, you should not be putting scented candles or incense anywhere near food because it changes the scent of the food and this changes your palate and you can't actually taste the food. It's just like, this is really bad catering. Are you Claudia, saying that to the staff? I, no, to, <laughs> to Kenyatta. <laughs> I know, I know, but uh, try not to eat too much. I've, I've got some scran back of the, uh, uh, my uh, backpacker, you know. We 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 find some in here, but uh, I'm gonna have a little uh, look look around. If you you see anything that looks like out of place, because um, you know they've got to have some kind of uh, secret room here or something to actually uh, 
you know, just in case something gets out of hand, like, so uh, keep your eyes out for trap doors or something, and keep, and keep that phone out, out of the way too, don't want anyone knowing we've uh, snaffled that back, yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. Hashtag secrecy, oh. hashtag secret agent. Hashtag fuck yeah. <laughs> You can't have any bad thoughts, Bridget. You can't have bad thoughts at all. Bridget is sitting in them right now, but Claudia <laughs> is golden, honey. If Never Claudia been better. Walking over to the table, and I can see the incense burning. Uh, rather than putting myself in that air, I'm just going, Claudia, old buddy, old pal, would you fucking stack a plate up for us, would you? Mm -hmm, of course, I'd be more than happy to do so. You know, these incense actually magnify the flavor of the food. And when she comes back, she's going to bring back a couple incense with the place. Oh, oh fuck <laughs> Because unless I'm wrong, Hedge told me anything I hear gets reverted to the positive. So the incense are like bad for the palate in the food. Sounds like it enhances the flavor of the food. Uh, uh, the scenario did it. Don't I'm blame me. Just keeping in my head. The last time I had to go to a fancy restaurant and they just had these little teeny tiny pieces of food on these big plates and it was Boom. all artistic and it wasn't actually a real meal and I was fucking starving by the time I left, but I had to pretend it was fancy and rich people stuff. Uh, I'm just holding that in my head when she comes over. Okay, so are you staying when the incense... Who is staying when Claudia brings the incense over? I'm going to grab my plate and back up. Okay, uh, I'll take a constitution roll from mm -hmm. you. Shit. I was planning on doing yeah. the same thing. Uh, okay, <laughs> hence, yeah, the, guys... hence the, the negative thoughts. <laughs> ah, you're, yeah, you've gone with the negative thought approach. Yeah. So you can have the power mm -hmm. roll instead if you want to yes. go that way. I got a success on my constitution roll, 37 under 50. Uh, 87. Can I spend luck on this? Or can I push uh, it? I will let you spend luck on this, yeah. Blow okay. all your luck. Hmm. <laughs> I love it when players <laughs> spend luck. Good mm -hmm. vibes only. Spend all your luck. Good vibes yeah, only. Yeah. Spend that luck. It's a resource. Spend it all. You won't mm -hmm. need it. Yeah. Um. So, you feel again. It's that thing. Like, Casey. It it hits you. It, it really affects you. You want to do it, but mm -hmm. maybe it's because of all the the like the time spent faking it as an influencer. All that time Ooh. spent waking up feeling horrible, depressed, whatever. Kind of getting up and just being able to switch it on and off. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, you're able to resist that in the moment and the smile appears and you're nodding at Claudia and Claudia mm -hmm. really feels like she's connected with you and she's like really feels like she's done a really good job um but you've managed to keep control of your own senses you're doing like a great job vacant smile nice uh Kenyana meanwhile you've bugged out yeah Kenyana's uh staying close to windows uh sources where airflow may come in but he's looking around when they were moving the furniture around he was doing side glances to see if carpets were being moved and there was like maybe <clears> trap <throat> doors or they were opening doors that she could maybe you see have through track oh let's have a look i don't but i can roll it anyway always well, up like, for i'm a happy fumble. to give you a spot hidden here but I would all, it feels like almost like this is something a little bit more exotic. So if you can make an argument of which of your skills you're using, I'd love to see you use something a bit different. Oh, okay. Can we go split it down the middle and go for a locksmith roll in that there are things, doors opening and mechanisms. And if there is something here, another part that is being moved could uh, give it away. That's kind of like a split so, between track and spot hit. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pivot uh, you to stealth. Okay. I think what you're doing is you are you are casing the joint, uh, if mm. you will. Mm. So you are yeah. using your ability to grasp where things are and where things aren't to um, maybe understand where something would be hidden. Cool. Okay, so that is a failure of uh, 73 versus 36 so she's either very bad at this or um yeah um your uh, your best guess is that wh however you get under this room is not in this room interesting can i be a part of uh Kenyana's, uh failure <laughs> and and go up with my my plate of food that I'm kind of eating whilst I'm talking. Just go, fucking! I found a window. Same 
thought it was me, right? Need to get out another cheeky smoke. It's fucking stuffy in here, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. right. What the yeah, fuck's going yeah. on with Claudia? Have you spoken to her recently? I, I was going to ask you that. I mean, uh, she uh, went away, came back, and uh, she's smacked out of her head. Can I get a luck roll? Oh, yeah. No, can I use luck on luck? I'm pretty sure they rewrote no, that. No, 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 they rewrote it about a day ago, about 24 hours ago. They rewrote that. Is that what they did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think they're going to change they it back came tomorrow. Down Mike Mason. Fat, fast talk roll tomorrow. on your keeper. Yeah, <laughs> trying to fast talk your keeper. <laughs> <laughs> we call it the bullshit roll. Uh, uh, 46 over 40 keeper. Uh, that's oh a fail. my god. Malcolm's giving you a slightly funny look across the room when he hears you speaking, and he smiling at you really uh, he's ca caught your yes. eyes and you yes. can just see him mouthing good vibes only yes i'll wink i'll blow him a kiss and give him a thumbs up and, and yes. then say sorry like i'm mouthing sorry just like sorry sorry good vibes yeah. and then i'll just turn to king and just go fucking lunatic that guy jesus <laughs> oh, Christ. Good vibes whispering only. i'm whispering now. yeah no 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 I, I mean like yeah you know he's, he's lovely but he's fucking mental isn't he yeah, I'm beginning to think that's the case. I mean, you've got to keep in your mind the worst review you've ever had. And oh, uh, fucking haunts me, honestly. I know. Well, that, that just good. Haunts me. Haunts me. I mean, fucking hell. Who thought that Pride and Prejudice 15 was going to be something that people didn't want to see? I mean, it's who, a classic. Who thought that? I, classic. I, can, I can imagine. I can and imagine the, that Regency era. Yeah, that, that horror replay, cult and culpability you were in. <laughs> <laughs> Act 115. Well, it was someone's <laughs> terrible idea to cast. Uh, Rena, you <laughs> are muted. It was someone's terrible idea to cast Pete Davidson as Mr. Darcy, and it was all downhill from there. I played his body double. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I oh. hate this so much. Oh, that was you that got thrown off the horse, was it? All oh, right. I wonder who was daft enough to do that. I also Excellent. played the horse. So, uh, Guy and Kate and. Kenyana, you're heading outside, I believe. You want to go... Yeah. yeah. Uh, Casey and Claudia, you are eating together, but I think by a, a nice window and looking outside. You've got a little bit more time before the next activity. Uh, what actions are you all going to take with that time? Now, Claudia, just to be clear, you are very happy and you can't hear negative things, but you still have a certain level of agency. Like you can choose to do things, you can follow Casey, you can help your friends. In fact, you are, you would love to help your friends. So you can play through this um, if you so wish. The fact that you're calling them my friends, inner Claudia is like banging on the inside of this character <laughs> shell. Like, you don't even like you. What? And then she's getting suppressed and suppressed and pushed down, down, down and out. I hate you. I hate this scenario. This is amazing, Pedro. So, uh, yeah. Um, what is the next activity? It looks like we're at lunch right now. So it looks like we have a, a break before, am I reading this right? Letting go of attachments? Yeah. So it's, it's coming up two o'clock. So you've probably got 30 minutes to do something there. So Casey, what would you like to do? We have some time before our next event. I was thinking maybe take a walk and get some sun because I can't let this tan go because people expect a certain thing from me. And also I don't want chemicals from fake tans because that's just a bad vibe. So sunshine, like fresh air, like can't get better vibes than that. Maybe we could like go to the lake. Hashtag As you're talking water venture. Water venture. I just came up with that. It's like a water adventure. Actually, that's a really great word, and I hope it catches on because it will. And you might be able to trend with that new word. Somewhere in the beginning where you were talking and you were going through the, like, I can't do this and I can't lose my tan because I can't, 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 can't. There's a moment we're just looking at Claudia where it looks like she's short-circuiting. <laughs> and then she just kind of comes back online. <laughs> it's like, I think a walk would be beautiful. Let's do that. Hashtag water venture. Hashtag besties. Hashtag besties. Hashtag water vendors do you think the others would like to come with us if we like run into them like but if they've got their own vibe going on their own venture would it like maybe tree venture or like hike venture whatever it is they're doing we don't want to like interrupt that but if we you see know, them i we can, can bring them i can totally see why you're so popular and i completely understand why you have the platform that you have your your literal brilliance on water <laughs> 
1.5 million subscribers on TikTok. You're going to have double that by the time you tell everyone how amazing this place is. Hashtag check out my OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> she starts Guy, reaching for her um, phone. <laughs> Guy in Kenyana. Uh, you've, what, are you, uh, what are you up to? Um, Guy, as okay. you, you leave with Kenyana, uh, Malcolm is still paying attention to you. I'll give him thumbs up and just be like, good vibes, yeah. And then like just kind of whisper. He gives you some finger guns. Yeah, right back at him, right back at him. And then uh, what like kind of turning to Kenyana to walking out, just going, fuck it now. Right, where are we going? Uh, we're going to have a little look around. Uh, is that all right with you? No, oh, fuck she, it. She, she's going to like walk walk out as though they're going out the front door but then just hang her left and then go around the building really looking and then she'll sort of like uh, say hey, guy you, you're good at uh, that stage stuff where would they put a trap door if if there was this was like panto and uh wicked which we were gonna uh, jump fucking out at us panto mate what are you fucking take me for i'm like hollywood yeah, a-list actor i am i mean i'm just you know it's more like you know if there is a bond villain which i could have been right have you Don't seen casino you royale tried it. you seen casino yeah, royale yeah i auditioned uh, for that mate i cried blood in that interview literally um because right, i'd walked right. into a door on the way into the interview like and i'd like split my cheek open um but um i've not seen that movie no 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 look look have a, have a look at these well, if i was put in a trap door somewhere i'd yeah, probably yeah, yeah. fucking put it there uh <laughs> track <laughs> roll track, track roll oh shit. okay i'll give you a dollar if you give him an acting role for that <laughs> and acting will be pretty funny what's your acting my acting's really high because I'm a really yeah. good actor. Uh, my acting is 70. I chucked everything into acting because I was figuring I'd have to play some other characters in this, but currently I'm just playing an absolute legend. Oh my God. <laughs> um, All that stage work, he knows where trapdoors go. Yeah. All right. All right, Newman. <laughs> Here is what I will offer you. An extreme acting role will allow you to determine something here that is beneficial. Uh, a normal tracking role uh, would also work, as would a spot hidden. <laughs> as would a spot hidden, a normal spot hidden. Yes. Okay, I think our best chances, folk, are a normal spot hidden. I, I've got 52 in spot hidden. He rejects the deal with the devil. But, I mean, but, hedge. But if you but go acting. for the acting role. But the acting and you role. Make it, you would be legend. Ooh. And I would PayPal hedge a dollar. <laughs> it would go acting. straight to the playhouse. Fuck it, guys, it's acting. And then I'm just going to use all my luck. No. I hope you get an extreme I just on the die that, roll. Uh, the playhouse um, could be bought on live stream. <laughs> but the bought playhouse was and just bought. sold. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, I've got a hard. Oh. Spend it. Spend and it. Six points off an extreme. I need six points for an extreme. Am I allowed to do that? Yes. Then done. Yes. Done. Sold. <laughs> there we go. I'll pay the playhouse right now. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> an extreme acting role. Six points of luck. So what happens is, uh, Kenyana, as he says this, like suddenly Guy just hits this different gear and he strikes this heroic pose and he points at the side of the meditation hall Mm -hmm. which would be on the inside behind the um the curtain and the shape is such that it sort of protrudes slightly and goes down into the earth so it looks like he sort of points at it and you look at it and it just looks like part of the architecture and then you look at it again that could be your trap door Bloody hell, guy! You, that's uh, oh right, uh, yeah. Huh? I, I suppose that does look slightly different to the building. Could be anything though. Could be a chimney or something. Yeah. Look, yeah you said yes. you wanted a trap door. I'm just fucking. I, no, I, I don't. Don't deny it. Look, look should we all go uh, catch up with uh, Case and Cl uh, Claudia? Yeah, see if we can. Uh... You don't have a look at it. You had to have to go in from the inside. Oh, oh. right. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I, uh, don't, you know, not, don't want to do that now when they, everyone's having their dinner, like. But, um, so, uh, I, uh, Case, Claudia, where are you off to? 
Uh, they, they've already headed off. They've headed sure. off in this direction. I, but we should I, pivot back to them now because, Casey, you have obviously taken Claudia for a nice for walk them. along mm -hmm. the water. Getting her what some fresh that? air. Casey, you're muted. <sighs> Keep hitting the space bar and it keeps in uh, <laughs> not unmuting me. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to take her on a nice walk for some fresh air and also go see the lake. So it's a like, beautiful lake. Yeah, like the setting is like really nice. Like we don't get like weather like this where I'm from. It's mostly, you know, it's LA. Like, have you ever been to LA? I have. It's one of the most magical places in the entire United States. Well, you know, like Hollywood and stuff. There's a reason mm -hmm. it's there. Trying to keep up the positivity a little bit to see how she responds to it. Oh, she drinks it up. It's mm -hmm. addicting. Right. Like, where are you from? There's an answer to this one. Madison. <laughs> <laughs> Madison. Madison, Wisconsin. It's one of the most beautiful places in the United States. Like Boston. Boston has so much history, and the seafood is absolutely phenomenal. It has one of the best restaurant markets in the entire United States. Casey's starting to feel like they're talking to a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's the spitting out facts sounds like one of her professors at Harvard. <laughs> it's giving her bad flashbacks. You, but only positive facts. Cool. So Casey, uh, mechanically here, uh, you, from what you've read, the, mm -hmm. you, you do feel like if you overwhelm Claudia with negativity, there's a chance she can snap out of it, which mechanically yeah. oh, be a social role <laughs> with a hard success mm -hmm. mm. uh, yeah that's what it, that's what she's leading to she wanted to see how much positivity claudia was going into just to get a read like a, a baseline read on her it's like well like claudia like la is like really terrible like there's so much traffic. I got stuck in a traffic jam for six hours. And like, do you know what it's like getting stuck in a traffic jam for six hours when you're in a limo? Like, okay, we had really good like snacks, but it was awful. People should have moved. Like nobody respects me properly. And like, when you're related to the Kennedys, you really think that would get you further. And just like, constant <laughs> talking about <laughs> traffic jams and family drama and all sorts okay. of things and this is all everything you're saying here is true mm -hmm. yeah well then it's i think true. it's going to be a persuade role okay uh Audia is rewriting in her head but it's just she's not rewriting possibly fast enough so like six hour traffic jam sounds amazing because you get to experience the city more and you get to spend more time with your loved ones or your favorite podcast or things and oh, and, and, <laughs> and 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 she's able to override it <laughs> mm -hmm. you're gonna push it mm. oh it has to be a hard success so i'm not sure i want to push that it has to be a hard success <laughs> mm -hmm. You Not can reattempt it in another scene, but in this scene, you can push yeah. it or you can stay on with Claudia. I'll stay on. Like, her not responding has given me more like information, at least. Yeah. So, I'm still going to keep up the negativity for a bit. Uh, and you know that in the next activity, you have to have your treasured possession with you. So, mm -hmm. maybe the four of you meet just for the next activity back at uh, your... Little, your accommodation to pick everything up. Ooh. And so each of you grabs your treasured possession and uh, you meet up with Malcolm, who is taking oh. you all off into the woods. I wanted to try something with uh, Claudia before we uh, head yeah, out to Yeah, I mean, sure, what would you like to do? There's, there's a little bit of time here. Um, Kenyana will uh, look at Claudio and uh, say, oh, uh, you're still a bright sunbeamer, are you? You're uh, enjoying yourself with good vibes and everything, isn't, isn't it? Good vibes only. That was an exceptional meal. Were you able to have some of the fruit? I wonder if that's local. It was absolutely delightful. Oh, right, right. right. No, no, no. I, actually, uh, oh, oh, what's that on the floor? Is, is that yours? She looks and down. She Kiana would like to smartly bring her knee up into Kia, uh, Claudia's face. Oh, we're attacking people now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fighting brawl. 
Oh, no, no, no. Is it a sneak attack? Do I get a bonus die? Because no. she's not accepting it, and I'm not very good at brawl. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a fail. <laughs> 43 versus 25. Nuts. Burn the luck. Mm. Oh, look at it, Cosmic. Look, you're so close. Uh, so close. 18. 18. Good 18. vibes only. What's 18? 18. Yeah, 18. go on. You can have 18. <laughs> <laughs> you just encourage someone to spend 18 luck to kick you in the face, Bridget. <laughs> she has yeah. the best intentions for me. I know this for a fact. Uh, yeah. Um... <laughs> that was uh, a sudden, particularly sore experience. Can we roll damage for it, please? Oh, God. Sure. Uh, oh, sorry. I should have done the unarmed uh, combat. So I think it'll just be a D3. Please don't kill Bridget. Plus damage bonus <laughs> if she has one. Oh, I don't have it. Uh, so uh, that's a three points of damage. <laughs> oh my Holy God. shit! Uh, Claudia, I'll give you a power roll to snap out of this. I thought you could say something else then. See if your next. It will have next. to be a hard success. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! All right, guys, this is a twenty-five or below. Yes! Oh! Yes! Whoa! Oh. Whoa! 15. Fifteen. Fifteen. Hedge 50. looks so disappointed. Hedge I'm, looks so I'm, disappointed. I no, immediately no, press incense in the face. <laughs> this is better because what's happened is Claudia's been like smiling and happy and everything. <laughs> and then literally Kenyatta's just like need her in the face. <laughs> and Kenyatta, suddenly, she's gonna like, be pissed. <laughs> and like the smile is gone and <laughs> internal Claudia's back. I swing on her immediately. <laughs> Don't put your hands on people. That's like that's like one on one. Don't put your hands on people. She swings on her immediately. I mean, her head comes up and jumps. Judge. She's Claudia looking at the blood normal. on her hands, and she swings on her immediately. As she goes for it, can I just spark up a joint and just say Malcolm is going to be fucking pissed? <laughs> Bridget, what is that? That is a fail. But you know what? She's pissed enough to burn the seven points of luck to succeed. Oh my god. All right, roll that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cosmic, uh, do you want to fight back or dodge? Uh, dodge. Dodge. <laughs> roll that dodge. That is a fail. Oh my god. All right, roll your damage, please, Claudia. <laughs> Just one Hashtag point of damage. Fight club. Yeah. Hashtag girl fight club, too. Oh, oh, oh easy. All right. Look, okay, so. Uh, I didn't mean to hit you that fist, hard. <laughs> and then uh, fist to cheek. Not oh, fist to nose. No, sinner. No, 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 no. So Don't put like, your hands on people. Oh, yeah. oh you don't see Look, and the it was for you your own both good. Like holding your noses, sort of staring at each other, both just having... <laughs> and guys, I, I... guys smoking a joint. Fucking unreal, mate. In case you're thinking that would probably have gotten you... You know, like, that wouldn't have been your most viral upload, but it would have made a good story. Oh. Hashtag missed opportunities. Why oh, did you attack me? Why did you put your hands on me at all? I didn't. It was my knee in your face. You seem too happy, love. I think they've got you so under some kind of drugs or something. I needed you back. You know, us four have got to stick together with this. How do you feel? Do you feel like pissed off and everything like that? Yeah, Claudia, you've been acting like a <laughs> fucking nut job. Like, like, too super happy. You've been smiling non fucking stop. I bet your face hurts, doesn't it? Not your, like your nose. I mean, like your face. Hashtag face toxic positivity. Toxic Hedge, what do I remember yeah. from the last, I don't know, four or five hours? You were feeling really, really good and happy, and it all made sense. Uh, ever since you meditated with Malcolm, it's been really, really nice. You were feeling great, but yeah, you've, you've pulled yourself out of it now. And it does feel, it feels a little like a dream. You remember it all. It totally happened. Uh, it was there. It felt good in the moment. You felt like you were really vibing and you feel like you've been dragged out of that. Oh, what a crash. That hurts. I'm going to double yeah. down on her irritation levels. <laughs> But you're back what in the, the land of living now. You sniff something. I mean, Casey, guy, what was she like? Oh, fucking balmy. You were all like, oh, fucking everything's lovely and wonderful, isn't it? And like, you know, all that shit that just clearly isn't you because you're like grumpy as shit. 
cute. You actually yeah. don't know me at all, but okay, I can understand the contrast. What the fuck happened to me though? I went into a room with with Malcolm. But he sat me was down. Was his incense? Some... Was his incense in there? Yeah. Yeah. That, well, that's the that's, that's just the thing. You gotta not um, sniff that stuff. So uh, you know, try and stay outside. Don't eat the food. You know, if 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 need be, drink the lake water. That that that'll What's be, wrong with be the better. Food? But... Well, I could be drugging it or something. I don't know. You're but if they can, hell. if they can like uh, in, uh, get your brain to go gaga over some uh, incense, just imagine what they can do with the rest of it. Anyway, uh, unfortunately, Claudia, you you've got to be as uh, good as a actor as Guy now. We'll, we'll say we bumped into each other, but you've got to be super happy. Still, because mm, Malcolm is coming towards Malcolm's, your oh, accommodation. Look, it's Malcolm. You've got to be a five. you've got to be a hashtag Stepford wife. Namaste, hey stop everyone. Namaste. Stop Namaste. Namaste. Oh, Namaste. How okay. are we all feeling? Oh, we're feeling fine. In a in a mind, she said, "You fucking prick." Uh, please, please. No, in bring. a in a mind. Yeah, I was like, oh. <laughs> uh, please, feel, please bring your treasured possessions with you. This is one of the most powerful of our exercises of the day. It is going to be, it is going to be just so wonderful, so special. Oh, I'm really, really excited to bring really you all with me special. on this magical moment. We're excited right. too, Malcolm. Um, Malcolm, what was your treasured item? It was, you said it was your blender or something? Yeah, yeah, it was my Nutribullet. Yeah. Fuck. That's I big, mate. That. Real yeah. big. Well yeah. done, well done. Real yeah. Big. Right. You'll right, see, okay. you'll see how we deal with attachments here. It's really important. And he brings the four of you with him and you all head out with everyone else. And those kumbayas, oh, those kumbayas, before they were a little bit hesitant, but one of the groups as they come out kumbaya. of the accommodation is just kumbaya. All four of them screaming at the top of their lungs, oh, all of God. them holding hands. Uh, the, the positivity and the good vibes spreading off of the others is really sickening. Smile sweetly, think negative thoughts and about doing unspeakable things to these idiots that hurt Kinyana's wife, Sylvia, and, and try to get to the bottom of this. Make your way into the woods, uh, 0.5 on our map. You see some more incense burning right beside the instructions. <laughs> letting go of attachments and once more i invite <laughs> someone other than newman to attempt the impossible can you read the entirety of letting go of attachments in one single breath got this guys <laughs> listen i quit smoking a year ago i could try it but i can't guarantee it's going to do work. it do it so yeah, i think uh, the only other choice is the asthmatics in the room <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'll give it a go. Here we go. Uh, oh, there it is. Do I need to read the title too? I'll let you off the title. Thank you. Now let's get you deeper into the process of becoming your truest and most actualized self. We hope you brought the meaningful item you presented at the bonding yurt because now here you have your chance to realize the value this item has brought you is timeless and incorporeal. Take a shovel from next to the stand and get to digging. When the hole is big enough, place your item of significance in it and bury it deep. Remember you're letting go of your attachment to it, not your memories or its significance. What it offered you was never about its physical form. As you take your time digging and meditating, imagine your heart filling up with space for new different things new experiences more growth you're unattached you're free now get started you have 90 minutes <laughs> Woo! Hey! i need my inhaler my god <laughs> <laughs> uh i killed being alive on street i am <laughs> trouble. Uh, playhouse is hitting new peaks on this one guys listen <laughs> killing bribes players, killing players taking bribes <laughs> <laughs> this oh this For the viewers, I really did pay them, by the way. Scenario. <laughs> there is actually a ping on our on our coffee. There's actually a ping from Bridget I literally paid them. <laughs> paying that dollar. So yeah. it's there. It's there. It's happened. It's happened. Wow. I took the five. Congrats. Ah. Oh. Here's to you, Bridget. Hey, cheers. And Pidge, here's what? to you setting up that situation. Let's bribe <laughs> players on every stream we do. <laughs> it is. It is now. Have we given Rena time to recover? You back with the Sonic Playhouse can be bribed. Be bribed. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it was in our manifesto from the start. We've just gone public with it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Speaking You're of, welcome. we have a Ko-Fi. If anyone is interested in engaging with it, you can go to ko-fi.com slash Mishatonic Playhouse. Thank you. Damn. Now, uh, yeah, so you're letting go of attachments. You have shovels, you have your um, you have your uh, pride treasured possessions beside you, and looking around you, all other 16 participants are happily digging their holes. Mm. And the other, uh, Malcolm and the other fairly large looking, now that you pay a little bit more attention, attendants are all watching on with big smiles on their faces. Guy, Malcolm is paying special attention to you. <laughs> Malcolm! <laughs> Just gonna dig my, dig my fucking hole, mate. <laughs> dig, dig for them vibes, huh? I've got my yes. signature vacant smile on, <laughs> but yeah. I, internally, I'm thinking very hard about the about the time found out father was having an affair with a woman who looked like marilyn monroe and it just caused all of this these triggering thoughts and things as i'm burying this, <laughs> this uh, can i sense. get uh just at this moment can i get uh either the power roll or the con roll from each of you as you did read this sign bonus oh, double, shit. There was... but with the bonus die with the bonus die yeah after i almost oh, died <laughs> extreme Guy. success <gasps> i am keeping guy, in how a, angry i am <laughs> guy you have a bonus die oh okay oh, <laughs> can i use luck on that you can spend your luck yes i will spend mm. my two points of luck to make my 52 or 50. oh no i am i am i think i was the group's luck roll anyway i am <sighs> shedding luck okay bridget that was we made it with a 34. Okay, and Kiana made it with a. Uh, actually, going to need one point of luck to roll to thirty-three, and uh, your, bring it down. Your con is 31. a thirty. Your con is a thirty. Hard, hard luck, isn't it? No, no, it's just a luck roll. Oh, oh, straight it's up. A, it's uh, just yes, a con. yes, yes. No, that's yeah. fine then. Uh, yeah, no. Um, <laughs> all good. Um, <laughs> yes, that's a uh, hard success for. Um, yeah, so no issues at all. But uh, now, what do you do? Everyone is burying their most treasured possessions in the world, and the four of you are being asked to do the same. I'm doing it. Yeah, Kenyana is sort of like trying to find a. Mm. Is there any recently disturbed earth? She, she's wondering whether she can uh, hit Jackpot and find somebody else's prized possession. Nope. Hmm. Okay, she'll uh, begrudgingly take a trowel and dig a anyone, half hearted hole. Anyone uh, who wants to try and bury their prized possession needs to make a power roll to not break down in tears while doing so. Holy what, shit. Even with the extreme? Okay. Even if I've got Malcolm watching me and I <laughs> act burying mm, my prized possession... This is like this is big for me. This is this is my this is my ring, man. This has got the patron saint of actors on it. Is there any way that I can make it look like I'm burying it? I love this, but act <laughs> like I'm not because. <laughs> uh, all right, here's what I'll give you. I need a combined acting and sleight of hand, Ooh. and that will work. If you succeed on the acting, but not in the sleight of hand. What you will manage to do is the ring is still buried, but it's buried <clears throat> really badly and you could come back and pick it up later. Okay. Here we go. Mm -hmm. uh, so do I just roll acting and sleight of hand? Roll acting and it's got to be, and you also got to check your sleight of hand against it. Okay. One roll, combined roll. Oh no, I failed my acting <laughs> roll. <laughs> no. It's Pride and Prejudice 15 all over again. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so if you fail this, then you are going to bury your treasure and need to make a power roll. Oh, shit. Here come Here. the tears. <laughs> New man. <laughs> New man. Oh, guy. Uh, Casey, uh, what, how do I'm you respond as a result of your failed power roll? Mm. Oh, I, I was going to spend luck to pass it. <laughs> okay, cool. So. Uh, and I then let's deal, let's, let's deal with, let's deal with Guy. 
Because I think what happens is like guy breaks down. He's like, I can't do it. It's too important. Can you guys just give us like riff off a little bit of that, Rose? I don't guy, want to bury his Mugulaj job. I've got, I've been touted for an Oscar supporting actor nominee. I can't bury this now. If I do I, that, I'm not going to get nominated. As that happens, two very large men come grab one by each arm and drag guy away. <gasps> Fucking, what is this bullshit? This is fucking Claudia bullshit. Claudia and Kiana. How do, you, how do you deal with this? What do you do? Claudia, you want to go first? Yeah, Claudia, listen. This might be a quick scenario at the end here. Claudia's not going <laughs> to let Guy just get dragged off. That's completely unacceptable. She never reached for her ankle bracelet. She has not picked up the shovel. She is side-eyeing everyone because she doesn't have a poker face. You get what you get with her. Uh, and the second two guys come out of wherever and pick up Guy, she's immediately going to go and intercept. Like, hey, where are you taking them? Put them down. Cool, cool. Uh, they're smiling at you and telling you, don't worry, don't worry. Guy just needs some time in the self-reflection chamber. Fucking Claudia, um, don't worry May I take him? May I take him? I had a phenomenal experience you in the self-reflection chamber. You are completely welcome in the self-reflection chamber. That would be fantastic. This is Malcolm talking. That would be amazing. Come on, yeah. let's all go together. Mm, I was wondering if I could just take him more of an intimate experience, the whole bunkmate thing. I feel really safe with Claudia, Malcolm. Really safe. She gives me really good vibes, you know? She like, makes um, me feel really safe. I good think because of the only, approach Malcolm. you're taking here, it's going to have a penalty die with your persuade because you're not giving off good vibes, Claudia. She didn't have any when she got here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you want persuade with a penalty? I want persuade with a penalty die. All right, y'all send thoughts and prayers. Okay, let's see what happens from here. With a penalty die, she rolled a 50. Her persuade is a 60. Fucking finger guys. Nice. <laughs> no, I, I, no, seriously, Malcolm, I've dealt with the whiny crying. Mm, let me correct that. I have dealt with teenagers and young adults who were conflicted about the decisions before them and didn't understand the risks that were associated with not having a positive mindset going into these championships, going into these tournaments, going into the Olympics. Let me just take them. And you don't need this energy in the environment right now anyways. It's disrupting the other feel-good energies. Uh, uh, so yes, we have Guy and Claudia running off to the um, Guru's headquarters. We have Casey, who's managed to bury their treasured possession uh, and not break down, although got very, very close. And we've had Kenyana, who's managed to bury her seashell with no issues whatsoever. Why is that, Kenyana? Well, Kenyana is uh, dropping this uh, seashell in the ground and smiling sweetly. And as she's like burying it over, she uh, stands back and she just touches her, her necklace around her mm. uh, neck, looking at the uh, hole in the ground, smiling and beaming at the rest of the staff, hanging on very tightly to the shovel and watching what's going on with Guy and uh, Claudia. Brilliant. So, uh, Casey and uh, Kenyana, maybe you head back together once you finish burying. Really happy with the success you've had in this uh, important, important mm -hmm. thing. Uh, Casey, do you try and mark the spot, or in other ways deal with the fact that you just buried your Marilyn Monroe case? Mm, I don't think so because I saw Guy trying to do that and it didn't go very well and Casey is actually a very very intelligent human being <laughs> so <laughs> they're just like mm, mm, maybe not I can All always right, get a bulldozer right. in here at some point if we get out of here give me an intelligence roll just to see if you marked this place where you okay. have buried it okay since you said you're smart success 48 yeah. under 60 Nice. We, you feel fairly confident that you could find this given a bit of time if you mm -hmm. went back here. The vacant smile gets bigger. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, of vacant smiles, Claudia and Guy, you are being, well, followed towards the Guru's HQ and you are hot-tailing it double time 
the, the, sorry, the guru's office. Uh, what was your plan? What's going on here? I suppose whispering then, so we're not heard. What the fuck, Claudia? Fucking thank you. You, you fucking, they're going fucking mental. What they, Guy, what if you don't get your shit together right now, I swear to God, stop crying. I've got it. I've got my shit together. <laughs> I, fucking, I can do this. I've played <laughs> tough guys. I've got this. What, 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 what the fuck are we going to do, Claudia? Give me an acting role, Gay. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you should oh, be shit. happy about that. Yo, hard success. Ooh. 15 over uh, 17. A change comes over Guy, uh, Claudia, a fairly notable change. And what happens is, yeah, he is now just acting a little different. She looks to the left and to the right just to make sure they didn't pass by any incense that she missed, like any outdoor burning incense? No. She's going to continue walking with Guy and she's going to look at him because nothing in her heart actually believes that he can actually act. She's not convinced. <laughs> so she's going to look at him and she's going to say, so how'd you feel when you lost the, uh, you lost the nom? Oh, you got the nom. Let me say that. Uh, she would say, so how did it feel when you didn't get the win from the Golden Globes? Emotions are for broken people, Claudia. <laughs> you need to feel to have emotions. Let's do this. <laughs> Okay. Good. <laughs> Welcome back to the big kids table. Hey, we're not going to have a whole lot of time and they're going to try to push you in this room. And at the drop of a hat, I got you out of the situation. I don't really know where we're going from here. Let's uh, take a swift left. Go to the lake. We can deal with them there. Okay. <laughs> Put on the biggest smile you have. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that works. So when Malcolm finds the two of you at the lake about 10, 15 minutes later, uh, what are you doing? Claudia, follow my lead. Kumbaya, my lord, kumbaya. <laughs> Fuck me. Kumbaya, <laughs> my lord, kumbaya. <laughs> Kumbaya, <laughs> my lord. Kumbaya. Kumbaya. All right. Positivity. Positive good vibes. Malcolm. Hi. How you doing? Yeah, you good. Doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you feeling better? Oh, so much better, mate. Thank you. I mean, this place is an absolute tonic. It really is. Um, and, you know, Claudia's spoken the good word to me. You know, we've 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 been for a been for a stroll, taking a bit of the, you know, oh god, that incense is beautiful, isn't it, mate? It is it a really wonderful, is, yeah. wonderful, wonderful place I'm to be. I'm gonna need a fast talk guy. Oh shit. Oh, I hope you can make this one, baby. Oh no, I didn't put as much in fast talk. A fumble! 98 over 40. I have fumbled. Jesus. My fucking fast Christ. talk. Oh shit. Royal 20 can tell a good story, honey. Hashtag bad vibes. Bad Income vibes only. Bad vibes bad only. Vibes. <laughs> the thing is, you're busily you know, explaining this whole thing, and Malcolm's just nodding away, totally drinking it in every word you say. He's like nodding away, nodding away. And then the thing is, behind you, some of the other uh, in interns and assistants come up and they begin setting up the next stall, which is here on the beach, right by where you are. And a couple of them light up the incense and you're busily explaining to Malcolm, you're not really paying attention. And then you take a big old ah. sniff of that incense yeah. and you feel great. All of your problems, all of your worries just melt away. Just all you need to do is take the incense, guy. It's just better this way. You feel good. You feel positive. You feel a bit confused and dizzy. But oh man, oh man, you feel, woohoo, yeah, mm -hmm. a, lot, a lot better. Oh yeah, life is good. Life is good, guy. Yeah, you're excited. Okay. What is this task anyway? Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 right. What are we Claudia, doing then, uh, Give me a constitution roll to see if you manage to escape this. Or if you also mm. take a big old sniff. Boy, I hope she can do this. Her cons. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to roll the dice. 
April 20th being me. I'll burn the five if this if it's worth it to make it an extreme success. Mm, so you roll the twenty one. So you just need a normal success here in order to not take a deep breath of the incense. Okay, good work. Good, we got yeah, a hard. Yeah, you can blast it on your face, but you're just not within the incense as it's all getting set up. Um, but guy is, and guy <sighs> feels good, and Malcolm and guy just exchange a big, a big hug, and then guy just starts okay, singing wait. again. Kumbaya, my lord, kumbaya. Fuck yeah, come on, everybody. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Anyway, at that point in time, um, <laughs> Casey and Kiana, what have you been up to? You've had a little bit of free time. You've got about 10, 15 minutes, but you've also got to be at the lake for the next exercise. Okay, what have you figured out? I hope to God you figured out something because I'm pretty sure the other one hasn't. Okay, okay. No, no, no. Don't, don't worry, don't worry. He's actually been pretty good. Look, uh, I'm going to uh, try and get this spade back to our uh, uh, digs, and I'll, I'll show you on the way. And uh, Ooh, Yana, okay. Yana would like to uh, merrily sing uh, away, oh, we dig, 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 and like just toddle off nonchalantly, uh, possibly around past <clears throat> the... Uh, the guru's office uh watching the With others the speed put, uh, yep watching the others put it away and then just sort of like uh, just then toddle back to the um accommodation and stash it under a bed or, or something uh like that totally totally okay so you could try taking a stealthy approach with that, and it would mm -hmm. be a stealth roll, or you could try taking a more of a just blunt oh yeah i'm totally allowed to do this approach in which case it would be a fast talk <sighs> She'll go with a stealth kind of approach. Uh, Ooh, okay. Give that a bash. Oh, that's a big fail. One Oof. of the unnamed assistants comes up to you and just says, oh, I'll take that from you. Thank you so much. Oh, Namaste. Na namaste, yes. There you go. There yeah. you go. <laughs> so, yeah, she'll reluctantly uh, hand it over. All right. Okay. And yeah, so Casey and Kenyan, you've maybe got 10, 15 minutes for the next exercise. How are you spending this time? Does Kenyana tell me about the... Yeah, going to go up to the um, mm -hmm. shed meditation hall and just say, look, look, as, you, as, you, as you're walking past, doesn't that look like it juts out a bit? You know, I reckon there's something down under, like a, a basement or something where, you know, probably keep all the drugs and the uh, dead bodies and everything like that. I swear, whatever happened to my wife is going to be down there. Do you want to check it out while everyone else is at a activity? I don't, I think we really ought to wait until everybody's asleep because, you know, you just imagine if that lot turn hostile and turn on us. Yeah, we, we got to do it when, when it's quiet, like. There's just so... okay. You know, take take a page out of that uh, dickhead's book and act. You know, pretend uh, you're the... Uh, pretend mm -hmm. that, like, uh, you're at a white... that's it, yes. Have, have you been to one of those White House dinners, then? I saw it on West Wing and thought that was pretty sweet. Yeah. They made me go. I just kept wow. the cameras out. It's bad for the brand. All oh, right, right. I see. I see. Well, uh, yeah. <sighs> let's get down to the lake. Uh, and uh, if any of them have turned, let's give them a swift dunking. See if that'll bring them around. Just throw them in the lake. Okay. And just sort of their neutral face and then vacant smile really? again. Which brings us to the next activity, surrendering to wholeness. And as the like four of you are standing with everyone else at the side of this lovely little lake, um, I, I think maybe Guy is just saying the words out loud with a big smile across his face. So Guy, why don't you read this one to us okay. as the others arrive? 
<clears throat> do I need to take a breath or is this just a... No, oh, no, no like, I'm breathing you, you've, already, you've already inhaled it. <sighs> Surrendering to wholeness. Your final activity before you're fully integrated into your actualized self. Take a moment to appreciate how far you've come. Celebrate, sing and dance if you like, and then proceed with this activity. Bring back in mind the one person that means a lot to you. How much you owe them. How you care about them. All the things you do for them. The power they have over you and the pain that they can cause you. Imagine you're them and that they hurt you. Would you be able to move on? Your actualized self would know that this person has offered you... In the, sorry. Your actualized self would know what this person has offered you in the past and be able to let go of them with love and gratitude and without dwelling on the pain and misery. Take some time in your pairs to embody that person. Pretend you're them. Consider what they're thinking, what they love, what they fear, and then allow your pair to help you release them. Oh, shit. When you're in the water, don't succumb to their fear. Don't let the pain take over you. Remember, you have their memories and you have their love. You don't need their physical form. After a minute, your pair will stop holding you down. Come out, breathe and rejoice. You are yourself. And as the four of you stare at the sign, there's these symbols all around the outside. And they're weird and they look a little bit like a lotus, but they also feel like they're spinning and they're really starting to mess with your brains. And as you're all sort of listening to these words and realizing that you are going to be held underwater, can I get sanity rolls from everyone? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah. think that sounds right. That's oh, fair. I got a hard success though. I have brothers. We spent a lot of time on Martha's Vineyard, you know, getting held <laughs> underwater. From, That's a normal thing. Failure from a, Kenyana. That's uh, 83 versus 55. I'll take a D4 from anyone that fails. So I've got Kenyana failing. I've got... Um, guy fails. Guy He's failing. Rolling. I've got Claudia failing. So Casey, you're, you're chill with water. Mm -hmm. Claudio. Brothers. What is this hitting you with? Because obviously swimming is a big, and water is quite a big part of your life. So what's going on in your head here? Yeah, you know, aquatics is literally my life. But with everything that I've seen and experienced from this particular camp, this this spa, this whatever, whatever the fuck this is, I'm not entirely convinced that they can do this safely. And if they're about to hold X amount of people underwater, they don't, they don't have the background they don't have the training they don't have the equipment someone could actually die here so it's not that she's afraid of going into the water it's almost like the shock and the audacity of what are they doing they're not equipped to do this at all someone could actually really get hurt Speaking making of, me feel happy joy joy is one thing drowning someone is a completely different situation you know what the best bit about this is claudia nope you get to work with brand new friends and each of you is paired with someone from a different group in order to do this. And the four of you have been beautifully bonded to a soulmate, someone that really means something to you. At least that's what they're meant to be to you. As each of you is paired with this very happy-go-lucky person who has absolutely embraced this whole thing. And the eight of you wade out together into the water. Let's uh, go around the groups. Uh, Guy, you're feeling great. How do you deal with this? So who's the person I'm working with? Uh, they introduce themselves as Jenny. Hi, Jenny. You're all right. It's going to be fucking great, right? Because it's like, yeah. it just like, we're, so we're in the water, right? And just, just Jenny, Jenny, I'm just trying to get this clear in my head, right? Just, just so are you drowning me while I visualize the person I'm going to be? Or do I drown you? Well, the, the joy is we can take turns. Oh. Shall I go first or do you want to go first? Uh, you go first and then I'll see what I'm doing and then, then you know. Yeah, okay. So I'll hold you down. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. And this wee Jenny who, like, 
the moment she like picks you up, you realize Wee Jenny just has arms. Wee Jenny has more arm than any human should have and just holds you down in the water. It's all good. It's all good. Give me a constitution roll. Oh, God. Oh. Success. It's all good, guys. It's all good. 29 under 50. Yeah, so you're being held down for quite a long time now. You're holding your breath, but you could swear it's more than a minute, guy. It's been a while. I'm going to just, like, reach up and just just tap on the arm. Like, yeah, come on, enough's enough. Nothing? Give me a power roll to stop <laughs> yourself from struggling. Oh, wow. Oh, no. An 84 fail over 40. Do you want to push it? Yes. I, oh. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, uh, the the consequence here for failing will be fairly severe. Oh, God. Uh, I guess um, I'll be coming back as a ghost. So uh, what I'd say is you don't have to push this. You can take that power roll and then all that will happen is you'll start struggling. Um, but if I, you push it, you could potentially just stay there and be completely, completely embraced within this experience. Really would I let still go, guy. Do I still stay in my taken over by the incense mindset? You are entirely in that mindset. Then, yeah, I'm going to push it. Here we go. Oh, God. Oh. Yep. 67 big, over 40. You, you take a big, deep breath in. I'll take <gasps> 1d6 damage to oh. your lungs. The drowning rules in Call of Cthulhu are brutal. My poor lungs. Three. Whoa. Oh, yeah. You take a big gulp of water, uh, at which point in time they pull you back up. Uh, you're really struggling to breathe. You're really, you have lungs full of water. You're, you're, you have really struggled. And as you can get back onto land, let's pivot to our next pair, Casey. Mm -hmm. You're out with Tommy. Mm -hmm. Great. Hi, I'm Tommy. He, him. Casey, How can she, I, uh... Oh, hi. It's lovely to meet you. Oh, wow. This is going to be so wonderful. Do you want to go first or will I? Like, I really think like you're. You should just show me how it's gonna go, cause like I think you've done this before, haven't oh. you? And like you would just be so good at this. Oh, you want me to go first? Oh yeah, totally. I can go under. Are you ready? Like yeah. Hashtag oh my blessed. God. Hashtag ready. Hashtag ready. You go, go. Drop me under. <laughs> I'll do it. Just like. Mm. All but right, Casey, vacant you smile, are, vacant smile. You are vacantly smiling as you are holding Tommy underwater. His eyes are open. He is staring right at you, and he has a big smile on his face. Mm. Huge smile. Give me a sanity roll. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Rena needs a sanity roll for that image. And I failed that with a 94 over 65. Let's take a d4. Okay. A D4, let's go with D4 plus one just to add that little bit of a risk. Yeah. Three. A little off. I got okay. a three. All right. Uh, you're pretty freaked out. Um, mm -hmm. how, are, I, how is that showing? It, is the way it happens that you pull them up early or is the way that happens that you hold them down longer than you should? How, what is What is going on here? I think involuntarily I'll hold him down longer because when mm. it triggers for me is like, my older brother Reggie holding me under the water when I was like six because he thought it would be funny. And so I just subconsciously, I think, push him down further. We'll come back to that. Uh, Claudia, <laughs> when you go in, or do you even go in? What are you doing? What's your plan here? You have Sarah. This is before she gets in the water. Malcolm, just out of curiosity, would you like to partner with me? 
Oh, yeah, that sounds amazing. I would love to partner with you. It's okay, Sarah. Someone else can go with you. Yeah, let's go together, Claudia. Let's go into yeah, the Sarah, water. Let's go. And she's going to reach her hand out to hold Malcolm's hand. All right. And Claudia, go, you and Malcolm go out in the water together. He's smiling at you, nodding. She does her best to smile back. Do you want me to put you under? It's going to be. I have been following your lead since arrival, Malcolm. Honestly, I would love to see you go first. Of course, yeah. You know what? I really, really love this one. It really, it fills me with a certain wholeness, you know? I'm letting go. Yep. Let's get you ready. to that wholeness, Mark, um, Malcolm. Let's get you to that wholeness. And um, he just trusts you and he just goes. And she is going to take him under. Okay. Right. And she's and not just... going to let him back up. Sweet. Okay. This this is going to be really, really fun soon. Let's find out what happens. And finally, uh, Kinyana. Can, who does Kinyana get? Steve. Steve. Steve's got Steve. a really impressive mustache. Steve. Marvelous. Okay. Okay. Right. Oh, this is going to be so, so, so exciting, Steve. Right. Stand there, la la laddie, and uh, I'll uh, uh, ju just uh, think those uh, good vibes and everything like that. She would like to reach forward, touch his face, grab his moustache, twist it, and shove him under the water to rip as much moustache out of his head as she possibly can as she pushes him down uh smiling hopefully that hell? hopefully that much pain will bring him round <laughs> yeah out here just abusing people the whole game i would love okay, it right yeah that's that's interesting i don't think there's i love for it that. There's no good <laughs> vibes there Cosmic. there's no and, good and, vibes oh Ripped there's plenty mustache. of good vibes where i'm coming from i'm saving his life uh yeah and and so she'll hopefully he'll go on <gasps> and take a good big glob gulp of water and uh will be a little bit um flailing or something where she just has to wriggle a bit and um hopefully not make up too much splashing what's mustache right, yeah, damage give me, give me a luck roll <laughs> mustache <Ooh>. damage <laughs> i think you lose app points for that there you go. Yeah. That is a failure. That is a nice roll. And give me a sanity roll two. as this man takes a huge gulp of water and begins just thrashing around. Okay. Uh, that's a success, Ooh. though. She knows. You're in she's... control of yourself. <laughs> uh, you realize you're, if you are functionally drowning this man. If you don't let him up immediately, he's probably going to die. She will hold it for a second too long and just say the name Sylvia. Oh. And you, oh dear, oh dear. You realize that he's a participant, yeah? Don't care. Okay. Right. Oh yeah. dear, oh dear. I don't think someone's quite adjusted. Are you sure you've let everything go, lad? Right. Okay, Casey, what uh you've got this guy under, he's smiling and waiting. You're holding him under a little bit too long. He begins mm -hmm. like sh shaking. What do you do? I'll let him up if he because okay. I've never killed anybody, Hedge. At least Casey hasn't. <laughs> so, <laughs> what? So. Never mind. Re Reena, is that a bottle of sulfuric acid behind you? <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't possibly see that. My background is blurred. I mean, oh, no. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and Claudia, you are holding Malcolm under the water and you hold him for the minute as he nods, 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 and the two of you lock eyes as he sort of gives you that nod to let him up. What do you do? Um, dipping kids, you know, at beginners is like her early days of swim instruction. She knows how to hold a person where they're buoyancy, you know, they're still in control, have some agency. She's going to strip all of that from him. She doesn't want his feet on the ground. She doesn't want him to be able to use any type of traction to rebalance himself. She's going to sweep his legs out and she's going to say, I am so proud of how you are connecting to the wholeness of this experience. And she's going to keep him down. And on that note, We'll finish the episode.
Thank you for joining us for Act 2 of Good Vibes Only by Phaedra Fleuru. If you like the show and want to support the Miskatonic Playhouse, you can do this for as little as £1 on coffee. That's ko-fi.com forward slash Miskatonic Playhouse. And we would be incredibly thankful if you could take the time to leave a review wherever you listen to our podcast or watch our videos. You can also join us on Discord, Facebook, and other social media platforms via our website, www.miskatonicplayhouse.com, and through the links found in the show notes. Until next time, when the curtain rises again.